before we get started you need a little cube you could get you could use a piece um pcv um pipe so i'll go like this and you want with the cap so it doesn't explode or we let the air out make sure you got a little space over here to conceal the air when you put in the air in. everything that i use i got them from my house the stuff that i have here that i use this one i found from doing a job today so i'm gonna use it and show you guys how to make an air lift <coughs> pump with it so what i did i put on two holes on top of this on, on top now that's for the water to come out and that's for the air hose to go in for the air to go in so you could uh, you guys will see all right i had this from my house from um a sewing thing so my wife is a doctor so i'm using this to show you guys so i put a I punch a hole down here too so that's where the water is gonna come in when you see this inside the tank so there you go i cut it in half you will make sure you cut this in an angle so water could travel in there you go stuck it in there so it's coming like there then this is a straw from I got this from something I bought from Target it was my daughter's one of a cup when she was young so stuck it in there Yeah, I also use a drill. I don't have the drill next to me, but I just did that like like 20 minutes ago. So now you put the airline tube in. All right. Get it in. And you put this thing in. It's, this one doesn't allow water to go in. So, see this L? It says that air goes down. It's only pushing the air, but not no water can come in. So that's what I'm using this. So if you can find one like that, I think I bought this at Walmart. So it's cheap, probably like one ninety nine. So I stuck it in there. And then put everything back inside, and there you go. A lift pump. Put it inside your fish tank. Or you could add design to it, but you know now for the for the test pause now for the test let's see 